Welcome, bounty hunters and Star Wars fans alike. We are all bets are off with Brian and Jason. I. <laughs> this music, man. I'm. I'm sorry, man. I'm. I'm in love with that. Music. I dig it. Yes. I yeah, dig man. it. I'm super in love with it, man. So. Dig it's it. A, it. It is I, the Tuscan Toast. The Tuscan Toast. Along with the charismatic Karelian. Yes. Oh. Charismatic oh. Karelian. Woo! Look at that, dude. That looks Has so arrived. cool. Has arrived. That looks so... Oh, it has the noises, too. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that thing is that's awesome. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump up at Capitol Hill with this thing, and I'm going to demand like that the stimulus get added on, you know? You're, you're going to demand your 1200 your 1200 bucks? Just, that's that's right. I'm just going to be like, <laughs> I, I want it in a cash slush fund right now. Yeah. Hey, but look, man. Look, I, I'm ready. I, I, I'm well, prepared. I'm, look at this. I'm prepared. Oh, look at this. Yes, I'm, yes. Oh, I have. Oh, I have, I have the precious, <laughs> the precious. I have it right here. Oh yes. So I am, I am ready, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting some cabin fever, man, because I, I can't, can't go to the store, can't go to Best Buy. Lockdown, man. Yeah, Happy man. Lockdown. That, you know, that's part of the reason that we're here on Wednesday instead of Monday. Mm. But yeah. if you guys really want to know what really factored in. And to us not being able to get to you guys last Monday. Ultimate past, fail. <laughs> was the fact that my esteemed colleague, the Tuscan Toast, he didn't buy enough power converters and he didn't have any power on Monday. Nope, nope. I didn't make it over to Tashi Station in time, man. So I sure didn't. So never, never um, that, But we're here yeah. now. Yep, so I had a power outage. I had a power outage uh, Monday night. Uh, I came home, and uh, the power was completely out. And uh, Cadel1114, hey, we're here for you. We are so happy that you're there. Um, we needed this tonight, too. So we're, we're glad you're on board, and we can't wait to talk Thank a little for, wars. Um, but, yeah. We're going to do this tonight. Yeah, yeah. So it went out. The, the power was out when I got home from work. I got home super late because of, you know, the coronavirus response. And it was out until about 1 o'clock in the morning. So I was hanging out in my truck across the street, you know, with the air conditioner. Because, I mean, it's South Florida. It's already getting super hot, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just so annoying. It was such an annoying day to begin with. And then the power was out. Uh, so we couldn't, we couldn't go live. So, um Sorry, but here we are. Right. You got us on here a Wednesday. Are, yeah. Got us on a Wednesday night. You got us a little early, um, but we're here. And we had a really, really fun time last week when we did our special. We went Hawaiian uh, and we went tropical. That was such a that was such a good time, man. Brought, brought out the the rare the rare sighting of the Hawaiian fit. <laughs> it's like a it's like one of those Pokemon that you can never find. It was great, man. But uh, Sam going Sam going pork fit. Oh, you got the the Star Wars chicken. Yeah. The porg. It's a porg. Sure. Don't chicken. If, hey, if we gotta talk if we gotta call the walking platypus a gungan, this is a porg. Yeah, All but right? Chewbacca never tried to eat the gungan. And yeah. in all fairness, did Chewbacca ever meet a gungan? To find that out? No, but he, he Chewbacca huh? was ahead Chewbacca was ahead I, of his time. I, I bet I bet you if he came across a gungan he'd try and eat him. Bet you that. You're trying to make out with him. <laughs> don't, don't start with all that stuff again, man. Inter all your interspecies. All your, oh, interspecies. Geez, man. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm not going to go there in this episode tonight. I'm not Look, man, it's 2020. We're all progressive here. We don't judge. It's how we go. So, so for, for folks that are on tonight, this is our All Fits Are Off, Charismatic, Carelian. We got the Tuscan Toast. We usually do about 90 minutes. And we're going to review a little bit of what we did last week, and then we're going to jump into this week. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. So uh, we, we didn't hit some of the topics you had brought up, and which is good because it gave us some stuff to talk about this week. Oh, yeah. That gave us some um, ammunition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talked uh, which Jedi uh, we'd like to be stuck we'd with. We'd want to be stuck 14, 14, <laughs> 14 days with. 14 days <laughs> with. And, um, uh, I think who, we ended up with some interesting uh, – Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Some interesting Yoda pictures out yeah, of that. Yeah, exactly. So yours was – Some Tinder Yoda photos. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how we got on Yoda with Tinder. 
That was a great show, man. That that's a classic, and we're gonna go back years from now. We're gonna look back at that. We're like, man, that's yeah, the best thing. that's the best thing we've ever done. Are. Because yours was Anakin. You chose to be with Anakin, and I wanted to be with oh, yeah, Buff, sure. Buff Prison Ripped Yoda. That's what I was about. Buff Prison Ripped Yoda. <laughs> And um, man, it was one of those things you guys had to be here for. I'll tell you that much. Man, my boy was lo- my boy was looking fly, man. Those those five years in the clink, man. He got super ripped. That's my boy. You know, oh, he, got man. Some, he got some bad tattoos, but man, he's you know what? He's all right because he's on parole, right? And he's out there. And he's ready to paint the town green. Gotcha. All right, and uh, we didn't get to the skilled pilot. We're gonna do that this week. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and fit it in today. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We didn't get the home console video game. We're gonna talk about this one, which is great because I have a, I have a great, great, great choice for that one. Um, collector's corner. We didn't even talk about collector's corner, did we? We missed. We missed three things. Yeah, we didn't missed we? three. Yeah, a lot. A lot of time was spent on Buff Yoda. Yeah, we spent Obviously, a lot. We spent, we spent a lot of time on Buff Yoda. <laughs> And that's pretty much it, man. We spent a lot of time on Buff Yoda, um, but we'll uh, we'll stay off that topic for tonight. Well, about Buff Yoda, and yeah, whether about or Buff not Yoda, Jedi unless it comes busy. up, unless it comes up. But <laughs> but uh, let's uh, we we got some we got some great things to talk about today. We're gonna talk. Yeah. We're gonna talk. You're ready. gonna talk. Gone with a trace, and I I am sorry, and I am I can't believe to- this. I don't even I, know. I, I don't know how we have a show that's off bets or off, you know, and only one of us watch Clone Wars. I, I, feel I mean, are you like, kidding me right now? I feel like such a bo- I feel like such a boomer because I didn't. I mean, I have it on my phone. I have Disney Plus on my phone. I got it on my TV, got on your phone. and I got didn't on even watch you got the episode. You got it on PC. You got it on a television. You, oh god! There's an unlimited amount of media that you could have watched that episode on. I can't even. I, I can't. I can't even. Uh, Oh my God! I can't live with myself, and and I'm I'm gonna go thrash. I, I agree. I, I'm gonna, I, this is I, I'm gonna go thrash. I'm gonna thrash myself later. But anyways, you're gonna talk it. Uh and I'm just gonna shut the hell up, and <laughs> I'm just gonna not say anything because I have no dog in this fight. Um, now, also, okay, we're gonna talk who's truly the most skilled pilot in Star Wars Legacy, and I also we're try and and I also have my own. My own opinion on that one. I think it's going to be a good one. And I'm really excited to talk about this one. It's called the best Star Wars home console video game. I'm super excited because we're going to go back to a time when I was super into video games and I had like no responsibilities and I didn't even know what girls were or boobies were. So it was. <laughs> can we say that on air? Can we say? Can we say that on air? What are you trying to do here? I said boobies. We're I a family say, podcast. I don't know if we can say boobies on air. They say it on the Disney Channel all the time. Of course, they're talking about the birds, but they say it on Disney Channel. All right. All right. Well, if it's okay. good for Disney Channel and it's good for the frozen head of Walt Disney, it's good enough for me. Um, collector's Corner. Are we sad to see three and a quarter inch figures fade away into the past? Man. Ah, yes. Because, you know, we're going to talk about this more, but man, that was our childhood. That's when you and I were growing up. And you well, know, we were we were young little young little studs, and we were playing with the with the He Man and with the. Let me just interject. There's a bit of a cost difference between those and what the the new stuff you have to get now. So that's yeah. a big factor. That's a big factor of my sadness. I'll just start with that. Yeah, yeah. man. I I know. You know, buying those those figurines for you over at the uh, at, at at Disney World. I mean, the price. I was, I was amazed. You know, I mean, it's just, wow, these things are this much nowadays. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So we, we're going to talk about that, and we're going to close off with Rosario Dawson as Osako Tano. Oh. And we got a couple surprises tonight. Hopefully, we can squeeze in. All right, a couple surprises, and I'm going to I'm going to allow myself to be surprised. So I'm not going to I'm not going to delve too much into it. But anyways, what time is it? Where are we at? We spent about okay, cool. We got time. Yeah, man. We're, yeah, we're we're, 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 we're on schedule. Uh, okay, cool. We're on schedule. So, Brian, what I'm going to let you do here, I'm going to let you talk Gone with a Trace. You're going to zoom and in on me, aren't you? You're going to zoom in on me, aren't you? There you go. Ah! Okay, yeah, I, figured, <laughs> I, I kind of figured that's what he was going to do. So, take take us into it, man. Tell us tell us what what's going on. And I mean, that's okay. I'm Spoilers, I deserve it. I don't deserve It's going to get spoiled. That's fine. I mean, it's going to get spoiled. Yeah, let me we just, can, yeah. yeah, we can get spoiled. We, we can get spoiled. I'm, I'm, I, I deserve it. Go for it, dude. Please. So... Clone Wars, Gone with a Trace. Let me tell you, contrary to some opinion out there, because there are those that did not like it, I loved it. We, I had had a feeling 
that they were going to drop Ahsoka at the end, but man, they gave us a full episode of Ahsoka. And what's awesome is this episode picks up at the point where Ahsoka walked away from the Jedi Order and her master, Anakin Skywalker. So we get to see that next phase of her journey, the beginning, her first steps of being in a non-Jedi role, of being away from the Clone Wars, of trying to acclimate herself into regular life on Coruscant. I mean, I was ready once... Not only that, not only that, but... Oh, I can't believe I missed it! <laughs> That's oh, all on you, buddy. God, not, it sounds not, so cool! Not, not, not ah. only that, not, not only does it start off that way, but I don't know if people recall, but there was... Before the whole Battlefront thing came from EA, they were working on a huge Star Wars video game project that was to be called 1313. It never came to be. Okay. For whatever reasons, that, that video game just did not end up getting completed. Where does Ahsoka go to start her journey? 1313! That was just awesome! Really? We saw the depths of 1313, the depths of Coruscant. So we literally get this whole feeling of kind of like George Orwell's time machine because we discover... Kind of like the whole thing with the Morlocks and the Eloys. There's this H.G. Wells. H.G. Wells. I, I, I'm sorry. Did I say Orwell? I did say Orwell, yeah. didn't I? J Thank you. Wells. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. H.G. Wells. So Nerd. we get. Cut. Hey, you know, what? <laughs> hey. we all of us are nerds to a certain degree. Yeah. So kind of like that storyline where we saw that there were the Eloys and the Morlocks. Mm -hmm. We discover that Coruscant is divided by those same two classes. Hold on, you have every hold on. The, the Dark Knight 66 reporting in. Oh. What, what? Hey, Dark Knight! What, what? Welcome. <laughs> so to catch up the Dark Knight, we're recapping Gone with a Trace. And we've gone into the whole fact that I was jazzed that Ahsoka came on the scene, picking up from the point that she starts her journey, acclimating to society away from the Jedi life, and then they drop 1313 on us. What the, the real Sorry, hashtag justice for Jar Jar. Carry on. Hey, look, look, man. Look, I'm not paying around that stuff anymore. Okay, look, man. Serious. I'm not afraid. Serious. Of, I'm not afraid of I'm... plastic. It's not plastic. <laughs> this is a deadly weapon. You know what? Right, I, got, I got one too. I got one too. What do you mean you? Yeah. See. What? What is that? Whoops. I can't believe you brought that sorry thing on camera right now. Dude, I, can't this thing, believe I found this thing at Walgreens on sale, man. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be forging ahead with this. So, they, Filoni drops the Realm of 1313 on us, the abandoned video game from EA. Uh -huh. That was huge for me. Huge. And we discovered that 13, again, going back to the H.G. Wells thing from Time Machine, Morlocks, Eloys, we discovered that Coruscant is divided by two classes. You have Everyone on the surface who's living the great life, mm -hmm. and then you have all these folks at the depths of Coruscant, the, the bowels of Coruscant, that are struggling, that are literally just trying to choose credits and food here. Yeah. And they're just, they, they feel that they've been forgotten, abandoned. They, they view the Jedi as evil because they feel forsaken by the Jedi. They feel there is no justice. And Ahsoka's finding all this out, and she, she's beginning to have, like, a different outlook on things. She's introduced, uh, she goes on a speeder bike, and she's, she wrecks her bike going into the depths of 13, and she gets introduced to a character called Trace. And Trace is a character who's like this whiz of a mechanic. And it's from Trace that she finds out all these social struggles. So, in... And talking with Trace, and they, they eventually team up, and then Trace has a sister, Rafa, and Rafa makes a deal with the crime syndicates that are in 1313, and Ahsoka just gets swung up in it, and it all just goes out from there. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Thought it was a lot of it was a lot of feeder. But I think going into these final episodes, I mean it just it sets up very nicely. We're gonna we're gonna discover what consequences come from Rafa's deal. 
So they, 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 she made a deal for some droids, and Ahsoka recognized these droids from the war and was in, informing Trace that not, not all is as appears with their deal. I got. So it, I, it, got, it, I, got it, I got to watch this, man. I just. Oh, you, you got to see it. I'm gonna see if I can catch up. I feel like I feel like, I, I feel like such a soup sandwich, you know, missing this. Ah, you know what? Okay. Whoa, whoa! The Dark Knight sixty six. Yeah, he didn't like. No, nah, it wasn't wasn't feeling wasn't feeling the last episode. The, no, wasn't, he wasn't, wasn't feeling it. He wasn't feeling the Gone with the no, Trace love. He wasn't feeling Gone with the Wind. I got it. Um. No, Gone with a Trace. Yeah, Gone with the Wind. I got it. It was a great movie. Um, even uh, even better book. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I just I just like to see you get all upset. It's so funny. I, I I'm just I'm jazzed that Filoni explored that the social struggle that's taking place in Coruscant. You know what? Did did, we, did did Ahsoka have any kind of love interest in in the 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 previous? What was it? Rebels or yes. anything like that? Oh, she did. Yes. Okay, all right. Yes, and wouldn't you know? I forgot the dude's name. Mm. And it, it wasn't totally really like... a love interest. It was, it was more like flirted with, kind of like the way they did Satine and Obi Wan. Oh, okay. Maybe the Dark so... Knight can help us out. Does the Dark Knight know the name of the guy I'm trying to remember from Ahsoka? He was, part... he was, he was. It was when they went to Mandalore. It was on the struggles of Mandalore that that Ahsoka came across him. I do remember it being in that story arc. Oh, he's probably his his pro, his name was probably Chad or something. Well, <laughs> it seems that <laughs> it seems that Tex Utah has taken the opinion of Rhett from Gone with all your Gone with the Rin references and ah, Frank, frankly, frankly, my dear, just, I don't give frankly, a damn. She just doesn't give a damn. No, frankly, my dear, so, I don't give a damn. Yeah, you know, greatest but, quote, greatest quote ever from any movie, you know. But you know, awesome. what, okay, Dark Knight sixty six does not know, and that's okay. Because we have the power oh, right. of the internet at our fingertips, and we can look it up whenever we want. But you know what? No, I don't know. I have no Jedi powers. Uh... <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll, let's settle that right now. No, you don't have any. You got you got infatuation with Gungans, but that's about it. Oh, Je yeah, Jedi man. powers, you don't. Oh possess. yeah, man. Those, those sexy Gungans, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> but I'm excited. I, I am excited for the next episode. I, I really. I mean, I like where this is going. Divided classes. You got now. You have a troubled Ahsoka as to how she's viewing, how she feels about the war mm -hmm. and the order. You got this new intangible with this relationship she's forming with Trace. I mean, I like where this is headed. I really mm -hmm. do. What What do you think? What do I think? Okay, so I knew. Okay, so we 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 ch we talked about it last week that we knew Ahsoka was going to be. Hang on, Tuscan. I the Fulcrum 50 just checked in. Oh, wow. look at that. Oh, it's... hell yeah, I copy. Loud and clear. We copy. Yeah, we copy. Hopefully Fulcrum's got some good stuff for us. Usually, uh... Yeah, usually you drop something. Yeah, usually you drop something. Uh, so, so we'll wait. We'll, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, you, hey. Go ahead and continue with your thoughts here. Uh, I lost my train of thought because I was looking at that chicken on your shirt. Tell me what's up with the chicken. It's dude. a pork. Yeah, the... It's it's a porg. No, that's not pork. That's pork. not that's that's a pig. Pork. No, not pork. Porg. <laughs> porg. So, I don't even know why I'm bothering right now. So does Man, the, so does the chicken you know, have any have any like wings or is it just like you know feet, just feeties? You know. No. Did you pay attention to the Last Jedi when you watched it? You probably didn't because you hated it so much. Did you pay uh, attention? No, I did because I thought it was really funny and I was looking at it. And I'm like, you know what? This is Disney's attempt to sell a bunch of these little like. Like chicken-like figures, I knew that. Well, then you then you know it flies. It flies. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. It's a little. Yeah, it does. A little. Yes, it yeah, flies. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Okay. It has a nest and eggs and everything. Yes. Oh, I wonder. Ooh, huevos. All right. Cool. So, chicken, chicken porg. Got it. So, All right, chicken porg. So, so your feelings on on classes on Coruscant and Ahsoka in well, a makes... deal a deal possibly with ramifications and all you know. Well, I think I mean, that's you're, great. You're I think that's I, that, that's a great story. That's a great story arc. This is this is great because um, if we're we're talking about classes, right? We we saw one part of Coruscant, right, in the the prequel movies, and we saw it as a as a thriving, massive city that in, encompassed the entire planet, 
and it's really cool and everything like that. But what about the have nots? You're looking at the haves and the have nots. Exactly. Of course, there'd be some sort of underground. But there's always some sort of underground. I mean, Demolition Man did it. Final Fantasy VII did it. Uh, What else? Uh, What else did it? Um, (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. But Tex Utah is asking you if you think the chicken nuggies are made from the porgs. Oh, that'd be delicious. She she didn't find that too <laughs> enticing. So oh, that's she didn't. So yummy. That, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think you ought to cue up a certain sound effect right now because Fulcrum greeted us with hello there. What's Amisa saying? Oh, sorry, not that one, right? No, no, not the, he greeted us with hello there. Oh, hello there. Oh my god. All right. That's so funny, funny. Oh hey, my god. Oh hello there, Fulcrum. You know what? Uh yes, Fulcrum 50. Yes. I copy. We copy. We copy you. You're you're we, on. I copy we, you. Lima yeah. Charlie. Lima Charlie. I copy you. Lima Charlie. <laughs> Lima Charlie. Loud and Are clear. we going fast means, or what? Yeah, that means <laughs> loud and clear, buddy. That means loud and clear. <laughs> He's oh, got, got some intel. Intel. Ah! He's got some intel. Ah! I love when this happens. I love it when this ah! happens. Ah! Feed me, Simo. Feed me. Anyways, man. Um, while we're waiting on the intel to come in, you know, I, I watched, I watched um, Rise of Skywalker, the movie that you did not like. I watched it again when because it, it came out on digital. I saw it again. And documentary, you know that, right? What's that? Attached for the documentary, you know that, right? No, because I downloaded it. Right. The the, the digital copy comes with the. Skywalker Saga documentary. It's I like did, almost I did, hour. I didn't say I paid for it. <laughs> oh, you see, my my app. I don't want to use the name of it because I don't. You know, it's like got all kinds of buffering issues, and I can't get past it. So lucky you. Yeah. Well, I have no problems with being buff, so it's all good. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. Uh, I know. I'm just too much to handle. It's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Too much to handle. (laughs) Oh, man. Um, But I watched it. I I watched it again. Shit again. You liked it just the first two times? or? Well, I I love the action in it, right? I love the action in it. And I really, really like the scene where Rey was kind of facing herself, right? Uh, a la, you know, uh, Empire Strikes Back. It fought for like three seconds. I that know, was very... but it's yeah. so cool because like she has that 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 double wielded lightsaber kind of like Darth Maul, but then for it folds seconds. down. Even Darth like, Maul got more time than her. Yeah, but man, she should have gone that way. Imagine, imagine the conversations we could be having right now if it went a completely different direction, where good did not prevail and evil had won the day. It would have been fantastic. So, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fulcrum 50's uh-huh. got, some, got? Ful- Fulcrum 50's got something. Okay. Um, word on the outer rim, mind you. Oh, the outer there rim. Is, that there's a new cast member coming to season two of The Mandalorian. I think I know where he's going with this. This I, could be. I think so. I think this is big. This is big, yeah, big it's, news. And it's big. <clears throat> it's pretty big, I have to admit. You know, we're huge. I think. <clears throat> I think we were going to talk about that later, but let's talk about that now. Why not? It was going to be one of our last. Well, let, let's, let's see what he dropped. We don't. We don't want to undercut him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We as don't want as, to undercut as, him. As, I mean, he's... As, as soon as he lets us know, we'll we'll, we'll talk about that because this is big. You know, uh, this is big. Tex Utah, Utah seems to think that uh, you're too hot for bread, but you're only the toast. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, I gotta I gotta take a picture of that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want to screenshot it and screw up our stream, but hold on. I'm just, there we go. I got to take a picture of my phone. The, the, da, the dad jokes continue on All oh, Fets Are Off. God. Was, the, the, yeah, the dad jokes are strong on this show. And yeah, yeah. Um, we're at the age where we can say them. It's awesome, man. Okay, uh, so now now Fulcrum says his communications are being jammed. I feel like we're I feel like we're being teased here. Like I feel like, like I'm being teased. 
like 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 jammed like strawberry <laughs> I feel like I'm being teased it's getting me the clamp it's getting hold me the clamp hold on you know I mean what what are... oh no here we go we lost the bleeps we lost the streeps uh, hold on we lost the creeps hold on hold on the what the what the what the what the what the what hold on oh yeah we gotta play it yeah 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 i'm gonna ha i have to i have to look there's our princess she's got company oh no space ball and they've already got her in their magnetic beam oh well we're too late what a shame i'll just throw in reverse we'll get out of here ah, right? no bad oh, what are we doing risking our lives for a runaway princess <laughs> this is great we're not just doing this for money. Hey, hey, hey. We got to edit this. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> I, I fast forward. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're, you're right. Down scope. Down, Down scope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Candy. Radar the world didn't deserve you. About to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, 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 look at that. That is, that is beautiful how they did that. It's oh, here we go. slow motion. Here we go. Everything. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Michael Winslow. It's <laughs> great. Oh, man. Shit. Ah! What is it? Sorry. <laughs> you tried. I'm sorry. You tried. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I I had to bring it up because I mean, if every time I hear that something is getting jammed, I I, I gotta just I, I gotta play it. I think it's just well, hey, it's in my head. The fulcrum has informed us that the one and only Michael Bond is going to be joining the Mandalorian too. What from Terminator? The Bond, the Bond from the Terminator. No, Reese, Reese. Is coming to the Mandalorian too. Oh, that's awesome! I wonder. What, I, 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 I did. I did. I, did, I have to admit, I did read that link today, mm -hmm. and they said that he will be on as a bounty hunter. Ah, okay. I really, really like how 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 the Mandalorian is exploring outside outside of the normal, you know, mainstream story, and it's kind of going into the how the other bounty hunters, you know, play into the entire universe. It's, it's yes, it's yes, so fun to right watch. now. Thank you, Fulcrum. Yeah, Fulcrum, he, you're the man. You're the man. <laughs> he's got to go, but he's <laughs> out. That's okay. That that that's cool. Michael Bond. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love that guy. Mm. I I've seen just about every movie almost that dude's been in. So coming to the mm -hmm. coming to the Mandalorian, sign me up. Sign me up. Yeah, man. absolutely. We uh we have a lot to look forward to, man. I mean, we we really really do. Um, with the with the new season coming up here and later on this year, um, yeah, it, you know it it kind of sucks because a lot of a lot of the the Hollywood big releases have been delayed. Yeah, um, because of everything yeah. that's going on, you know, with the I coronavirus. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, it's going to make for a really really fun summer um, because I'm hoping I'm optimistic that you know we're going to get past this and we're all going to get through this, and those that have been in, been affected by this will no longer be affected by this and i mean like actually affected by it by by getting sick i hope everybody gets better um and that nobody else gets Absolutely. sick uh i really i really i really do hope that and i that's what i worry about the most is they're about you know those that have already been um you know been infected by this this damn thing you know but uh, i'm hoping that in the future you know and i, I mean like the, the near future within six months we're getting some sort of sense of normalcy and we can get back to, you know, all the things that we love and, and, um, definitely, 
you know, enjoy some some new shows coming out, some great movies. Everything's got pushed back. Wonder Woman, James Bond, um, yep. all Black these, Widow, yeah, all Black, Black Widow. Everything's pushed back, and 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 rightfully so. I think. I think it's the right decision. Um, I it think, is the right decision. I think uh, yeah. you know, even though we we think that Earth has is closed today, as Tony Stark <laughs> as Tony Stark <laughs> has put it, um, that uh, it's just for you know for now it's temporary. We're gonna you know we're gonna fight this fight, and then once the fight is over, you know we're 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 back to being America again, uh, right. as, as we normally see it. But you know, until then, you have us, and we're here, sheltered in place. Um, we are. We, um, although you, Brian, I believe, are fighting the good fight because you are out there uh, helping people get the things that they need, and well, I, and I commend you and I applaud you for that. Thank you. That's part of my occupation, and I got to get out there and do it. Yep. Um, but I think we think I think we covered. Gone with the trace pretty well. We had some extra yep. goodies thrown in there by Fulcrum. Yep. So I think we're about ready to move into the next phase here. Okay, so we're talking about the the, the most skilled pilot in the Star Wars oh, legacy. I, I, I think I think uh, the Dark Knight's probably going to chime in some stuff with this one because I know he feels strong pretty strongly about this. Okay. So well, I'm, I'm going to let you go first, and of course I'm going to. No, 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 no. I went I went first on Gone with the Trace, so you're going to have to go first. Who I think is the best pilot? The best pilot who. Who is the best pilot? And I know that the Dark Knight likes to use face characters a lot. So let's just say face characters, all characters okay. that we've encountered. Who who do you think is the most skilled pilot in the saga? Side stories alike, too. Throw it all in. R2-D2. Animated, everything. R2-D2. What? Yes. He's a co-pilot, but I think he's the best. r 2 how is R2-D2 a co-pilot? Okay, because he's always in... Okay, I know he's the droid, and he's the one helping out and everything like that, but go back to episode one. Let's go back. Let's go way back to episode one. All right. And He wasn't was, flying the, the ship. No, he was, not, he was not flying the ship, but you know what he was doing? He ensured that the ship was working fine so that they could take off and beat the blockade. So he's an awesome mechanic. What does that have to do with flying it? If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be flying. He right, like most mechanics insure on most planes. He's an awesome astromech, probably the best astromech. There you go. Probably the greatest astromech. There you go. Who is not a pilot? We're asking who the great. You know what? Then I'm going to. You know what? Then I'm going to call. You know what? Then I'm going to call him an honorary pilot. Dark Knight 66 thinks it's Poe Dameron, and I don't disagree. It's a great pilot. But you, you said it was I, I, still, I still think it's Arturito. Hey, Arturito! Oh. Yep. I, yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm almost speechless. I am. I, that An astromech being a pilot. Yeah, it man. just doesn't... That's That doesn't go together at all. It does go that's, together. It's because of him. That's, everything, everything that's going on is because of no, him. They and this, the the same thing. Okay, he's a co-pilot. He has. Like, he's a co-pilot. He navigates. He navigates. Right. He's Anakin's navigator. He, he does navigate. He has the star charts. Yes. There you go. See. Arturito. But, okay. It's, it's Arturito. I'm, I'm not even gonna. Yeah. Yeah, it's Arturito. I know what you're going to say because, I mean, you're a fanboy. I know it's going to happen. Oh, do you? Do you? Yeah. I, you know what? <clears throat> you know what? What? I, I can guarantee. Can you? I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to go Lou Ferrigno on you right now. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, I can guarantee 110% okay. that you have, no, you have no clue who I'm about to pay. None. Zero, and it it's okay. it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a selection that it's gonna get under Dark Knight skin. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but this is just what I think. Is it gonna be so, the, is it gonna be the Ford? Maybe. Yeah. See, I told you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, while while we're stuck on the whole R two D two co pilot thing, uh -huh. you know who's a better co pilot than R two D two? Who? Chewbacca. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Don't even, I mean, don't even try and weasel your way out of that one. Yeah. Don't, don't try it. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, but, 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 okay, before we get into that, hold on. I want to, I want to play something real quick because this is, oh, what do we got now? because this is super fun. Do you speak bocce? Of course I do, sir. It's like a second language to me. I was fluent in bocce. All right, shut up. What about Spanish? Spanish? Yeah. Do you uh, speak uh, Spanish? Uh, I, I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations, and am fluent in over six million forms of... Oh, oh. In este clase nosotros hablamos en español. Bueno? Sí? Bueno. Me llamo Alfonso. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me... Yamo? Sí. C-3PO. Sí. 3 Sí. No, no. C-3PO. Sí. 3 Sí. C-3PO. Sí. Mira. 3 No, I'm saying my name begins with the letter C. En este clase, habla en español. ¿Entiendes? But... Siéntate. But... 3 Ándale. Ándale. Uh. Hey, Arturito, in Espanol, por favor. Well, do you speak Spanish? Or- <laughs> See, man, this, I love this show, man. We, <laughs> you'll just drop anything in there. Yeah, man. You, <laughs> you'll go from space balls to robot chicken to who knows what else. Yeah, man. I mean, who would have thought that C-3PO doesn't know how to speak Spanish? Isn't he? Isn't he fluent in over how many forms six, of com- six million, six million, six million forms million. of communication? But he can't speak Spanish. Speak Spanish. What the hell, man? <sighs> I nah, man. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Nah. He can't speak Spanish. He can't speak Spanish. Hey, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of languages out there in the universe. I mean, Spanish might have gotten missed, you know? Nice. It's just how do you miss Spanish? You can't miss Spanish, even though I'm Mexican. Maybe, I can't speak Spanish, but it's okay. The C3PO should be able to speak Spanish. There's a lot of galaxies out there. Earth may not, you know, the Milky Way not be being there, man. Oh, God, yeah. there can't be a planet enchilada or something like that where they all speak Spanish. Planet enchilada. You're, I'm sorry, you're, I'm sorry. you are dangerously, you are, no, you are dangerously skirting some, some, some dangerous grounds there, buddy. Just, just be careful now. But you know? I love enchiladas. I mean, I mean, if I mean, a I, enchilada, I love it. I, I eat the hell out of it. I, I'm in San Antonio. You're in Miami. Well, I mean, they we don't, don't have Mexican food, don't, by the way. We, they we, don't we, have Mexican food here in Miami. You can't find it. You just, you can't. Surely there's one place. Yes, it's called aguacates, and it's really super greasy. Like, not even Mexican greasy. Like, it's it's no, no, it's no, not not this bad. It's 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 okay. It, All right, well, I'm gonna go with my controversial pick. I'm okay. gonna get. Oh it. yeah, we haven't even gotten to that yet. Let's go. For yeah, it. we haven't even gotten to. All right. All right. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. You don't you don't know that it's coming. That's what I like. You have no clue that you you. I don't even think you've seen this character. Personally, what are you trying to say, I'm the, bro? I'm pretty sure you haven't seen this character. I'm like almost dead on certain you haven't. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, drop it, man. What's all right. up? What is I'm it? Gonna, my selection for greatest pilot is Hera. Who the hell's Hera? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hera is the Badass Twi'lek from Star Wars Rebels. Oh, with the hair or with the the thingies, the tentacles coming out of the head. Twi'lek. Yeah, there you go. Tor- you just twerk say like twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. I can almost say with confidence I saw her do moves in the Ghost, which is her ship, by the way. Yeah, I got that. that. I don't. I don't think Han Solo or Luke could do. Or Poe Dameron. I'll go that far. Oh, yeah? Not, I think Poe Dameron, Luke, and Han Solo are some bad, bad mamma jammas and pilots, man. But mm-hmm. I still think that Hera's, the, you know, I, 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 I put her at the top. Well, I, I mean, if she, if, she, if she can twerk it, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm pretty confident that she could be a pilot, too. Leave it to the Tuscan Toast to just come up with twerk from Twi'lek. Yeah. I, you know, twerk, I, it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. 
I, I can't. My, 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 my fat nalgas won't let me do it that well. But that's, uh, uh, that's, that's, but that's great. Got, but, 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 wait a minute. She, she was, I gotta leave, I gotta leave the show. Why? Look at the chat. I gotta get up and get out of here. Look at the chat. Oh, get the hell out. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, Dark, Knight, Dark Knight's like, what? Uh, Sorry. Like, really? Sorry, the, the, Tuscan, the, the Tuscan Toast is going to have to host the rest of the show. Sorry. Oh, man, you don't want me to host the rest of the show. This will turn triple X rated Ow. so fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, this will go so south. Oh, man, you really don't want me hosting a podcast all by myself. Ugh, we're talking about those disgusting things. Um, all right, cool. So we we I have Arturito and you have uh, Torquet um, as yeah, the most skilled like, pilot in the in the con- and, in the Star Wars legacy. We, we got we got Art you got Art Arturito, <sighs> but you left out Chewbacca. I yeah, mean, that's right. With Chewbacca gets a well, so Chewbacca gets honorable mention. Wow. Right? Oh, okay. The Dark Knight sixty six. The Dark Knight sixty six. This is a good one. This is a good one, Brian. The greatest droid ever. Go. And Yo. he and he says K two S zero. That's an excellent choice. That's an I'm I'm gonna go with Dio, but that's an excellent choice. Uh yeah, that's a awesome choice because I know exactly who K oh okay, yeah, from uh <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Rogue One. Yeah, I I, well, I, I knew exactly who... Well, he searches it on his phone as we speak. I knew there exactly is, who that was without is, any kind of references there's... whatsoever. <laughs> um, I, th- I think that Dark Knight has an excellent choice because... Okay, okay this is great. I got to think about this one. I really got... Okay. That, that, that is a very good choice. He is a, he is a, a, a great droid. He was the first droid we saw that gave, like, self-sacrifice. I got to think about this. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that's 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 true. Very, yeah, very noble. I'm still going with Dio, but that self sacrifice mm. from so that that was just that was awesome. Greatest droid ever. What was that little droid that got scared of, like in in an episode? Excuse me, in episode four, like like that little that little mouse droid that like it came up to like Han Solo and all them, and then it ran away. The one on the Death Star. The one on the Death Star. Yeah. You don't know what it's called. Okay, but I want that one. That one or the trash can one? The trash can one? Yeah, the trash can one from uh, from Cloud City. The w- from Cloud City? Was it Cloud City or was it uh, Java's, no. Java's uh, yacht? It was It was in episode four and episode six. Okay, yeah, so the trash can one we is talk about awesome. that big thing that walked around that went gong, gong. That- yeah, yeah. That, now, what purpose that droid has... I don't know. Maybe it really is a trash can. It's a it's, it's a receptacle. A, it's we a always facilitator. Need... It's a facilitator. A facilitator of what? It doesn't matter. It's a facilitator. You don't have to know what it facilitates. Oh, it's simply a mouse droid. Oh, yeah. and that's it's a gonk droid. Dark Knight sixty six. Thank you very much. It's a oh, gonk. It's a there gonk you go. droid. That's pretty, that's yeah. Pretty... Yeah, like a gonkowski. It's a gonk droid. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna. Call it... It, yeah, you didn't know it played tight end for the New England Patriots. Hey, he's in the WWE now. He, oh, he, yeah, he's going to host WrestleMania for so free. Stupid. It's a two-night event. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like fans are going to mu- be there? Big muscular dudes, fake throwing people around. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> any, any fans going to be at the event? Who? Or are they going to do an empty arena? I think they're going to do an empty arena. Empty arena. Uh, yeah. They're gonna do an empty. Well, arena. I'm sticking with Dio. All That's right. just me. I'm I'm mouse droid, mouse droid, I'm all about mouse droid. Honestly, honestly, KTOSO, man, I've never been so attached to a droid before that. That character, That's that gross. was just. That's gross. I mean, okay. What? Why is it gross? <laughs> why? Yeah, why you gotta make something out of it like that, man? Why do you, you know, I, I have a twisted, I, mean, I have a twisted mind. It's not really my it, fault. That is pretty twisted. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. So since, since you're going to take it there, since you're going to take it there. Yeah, I'll take it to a lot you, of places. Are, are, you, <laughs> are you telling me that you thought there was maybe something going down with L3 and Lando then? 
Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh. Think of the conversation. Think of the conversation L three had with Cora. Mm. That was some pretty hefty stuff, man. I didn't know what to make of that. I mean, that, you know. I don't. Ooh, I don't know, man. Nah, Lando Calrissian is too much of a ladies' man. Uh, so you're you're certain? No. Yeah, neither am I now. <laughs> but it works every time. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Coat forty five. Hey, all I know is is that Cora looked at L three and said, "How could that work?" And then L3 was walking away and looked back. It works. You, <laughs> you, man, you, you take that for what it is, all right? Uh-huh. You take that for what it is. I'll take it for a lot of things. But then again. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. You know what? Next, next episode, Brian, since you are our producer and you write our, our oh, topics. Oh, no. I would, I would really. What am I getting started I, I would appreciate. I, I would appreciate a segment on Lando Calrissian, and all we're gonna put. I can see that. And, and all we're gonna put. That's it. That's the only thing I want you to put is like, like number one, number two, number three, whatever you want to put it in there. Just Lando Calrissian, and I'm gonna go off for ninety minutes straight on Billy D. Williams. We can't do that. We can. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, we can, but we can't. I mean, come on now. Oh, but we will. So, okay, we'll do a uh-huh. la- okay, we'll do a special Lando episode, and then then we'll do a special Jar Jar episode. Okay, wait, you got to meet me halfway on this. If we're gonna do ninety minutes on Lando, okay, can we can we at least do ninety minutes on different phases of Lando? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, okay. we could definitely do that. There we go. That helps. That helps me out. I could probably work with that. Okay. So. All right. Cool. All right. We'll do that. Cool. So that stay tuned. Fine. Stay tuned for stay a special tuned. Lando episode. Lando. <laughs> Lando Calrissian edition. Lando Calrissian. Uh, where are we at on time? Ooh. All right. We gotta move yeah. on. Uh, gotta get- oh. So my my favorite topic. That, I'm so excited to talk about this. Wait for this one. Yes. Yes. The best Star Wars home console video game. Yes. Yep. Yes. Now, yes. Now I'm gonna let look, you. Yeah, I'm gonna let you talk. You're, you're, you're not gonna pick the Empire Strikes Back from a television, are you? No. In, in television, had Empire Strikes Back? Really? You did, like you didn't know? Well, I didn't have it in television. I never. What? Had one. No, I never had one. I had an Atari 2600. And yeah, I, I know that I you had, had one. Though. And then I had the the, the, the Commodore. Yeah, and then the, no, I never had a Commodore either. Oh, oh you yeah, had a minute. Commodore? Did I? Did I have a Commodore? Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did have a Commodore 64. Well, The Empire Strikes Back, that the same one that was on television was on those formats, too. It's the same one. I don't think I ever had them, though. No, oh. I didn't have them. No. Oh, well, you just missed out. No. Okay. Oh, Dark Knight 66 has a has a great one. Let's talk about his first. Let's talk about his first. What do you, what do Force, you come up with? Force Unleashed. That was a great game. Ooh. That's a sexy, that was, that's a sexy game right there. It was just a great game. That is a and sexy game. I'm I'm actually pretty upset that game's no no longer part of canon. By the way, I'm really upset about that. Uh, Legends not not canon anymore. I hate how they did that. Ah, well, it's all mad. The but, I rem- <laughs> I remember when the Force Unleashed came out. Mm-hmm. The big uh, the big advertising point for the game, and they talked this up for months. Mm-hmm as they were leading up to the first trailer of the game, was how they came up with a story that was presented to George Lucas himself, and he stamped approval on it. Okay. Because so, this, was, this, was the, this was before the, the acquisition of Di- by, by Disney, right? Oh, this was well before the acquisition. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, right. yeah. So they, I mean, they sold this thing on that premise. They mm-hmm. said, hey, they said, hey, we've come up with a storyline... That is George Lucas approved, so this is now inserted into canon. Mm-hmm. They said you are going to be playing a game that fits, that has characters and a story that fits within the canon of the universe. Yeah. So I mean, that that alone put fans out there to get it in tremendous numbers. I, I was one of them. 
Mm-hmm. I want I wanted to play one of the approved George Lucas stories on a game screen. I wanted to do that. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, with the acquisition, it's gone. And it was a really good story. Well, maybe it's not gone and lost forever. We we don't know what yeah, Lucas yeah, is, we don't know yet. We don't know what Lucas's involvement is going to be here in the future. You know? That's true. That's we, very true. We, we really don't know. I mean, I mean, the, it, the future is wide open now that we yep. know that he is actively in talks with being more mm-hmm. involved in Lucasfilm. Um, Doing stuff. Yep. Yeah, and that that may not stop with just regular media and may go into into video games too, um, which would be great. We know that. We know that it would be great. But yeah, Force Unleashed was. Um, oh, it, just the, it, the stuff you could do in it. The stuff you could do mm-hmm. in it. I mean, you were throwing Tie Fighters around. Mm-hmm. You, you pulled in a, a Star Destroyer towards you. I mean, it, you threw stormtroopers. You threw stormtroopers all over the place. It was just awesome. It was an awesome experience. Yeah, it, it really was. And I, I never actually had a chance to to, to completely finish the storyline um, oh. in the game. Yeah, I never got a chance. I mean, I did watch the. I cheat sometimes. I watch the the video on YouTube. People splice it together, and I it's 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 a little bit easier because you know I I don't have a whole lot of time, unfortunately, right now. Well, I didn't back then either um, <laughs> to go through to go through a whole game. Um, but uh, I was able to to play through a little bit of it, and I saw the storyline you know unfold the different endings and everything on YouTube, which is great. Now, when Final Fantasy VII remake comes out next month, rest assured, I am putting time into my schedule i'm actually penciling it in to my calendar of time to play final fantasy 7 it's gonna are, be... are, are, are you sure that the covid the covid curse is gonna be it's gonna be past us for you to it doesn't devote even, time? it doesn't even well i mean i, I guess i'm just gonna I, have to, yeah i mean i guess i'm just not gonna have to sleep a, a few hours i guess which is i mean i mean, I mean I like when, fine. when next month are we talking what point next month are we talking about when's that launch it's coming out august this is august 10th i want to say august 10th um they are no, august i'm sorry april 10th uh they pushed it back it was supposed to originally been this month but it's just coming out in just two weeks i've already pre-ordered it and it's it's going to be downloaded to my ps4 while i'm at work so you know i'll come and i'll play it that afternoon okay um, yeah so it's oh. Dude, I've been I have been waiting, <laughs> waiting. It gives me chills just thinking about it. I've been waiting for this thing, um, but we're getting off topic. As yeah, we, we're getting as, off topic as we normally do. As but we normally okay, do. but, but now, but now I want to hear yours, right? Which is your, uh, you what you believe is the best console video game of Star Wars, and then I'll go into mine. And I actually have some visual representation to uh, to back that. Oh, up. Oh, that's great. Go for it. I didn't come up with that, so that's pretty cool. That's all right. Go well, for it. Well, my choice for the best console Star Wars game and it was a, this was a hard decision for me cuz it it came down to two titles and honestly the the two I'll start with the two platforms and then you can sort of kind of try and speculate from there as I go into a, go into it a little bit more but the two platforms were the Gen 1 Xbox and then here's the one that, that no one's really going to expect. The next platform was the Nintendo GameCube. And let's let's just bring out the two titles, and then I'll, I'll go into which one I picked. The, the two titles we're talking about, of course, are Knights of the Old Republic and then Rogue Squadron. Knights of the Old Republic, by all reason, should be, of course... <laughs> The clear winner. The game was amazing. Not only was it amazing, not only was the story immersive, not only were the characters fantastic, not only did you have an open online environment that you could go into and explore and just get lost in, but it dropped maybe the biggest bomb in Star Wars since The Empire Strikes Back. It had that for it. Mm -hmm. But is that game my choice? No, it's not. I actually am going with Rogue Squadron on the Nintendo GameCube, that little tiny box. And no, the game did not have an immersive world. And no, it did not have maybe the most shocking moment finding out that you are, in fact, Darth Revan. It didn't have that. But I tell you what it did. It had the single most accurate Yavin battle I've ever seen in my life. You, oh, 
Yes. You, oh, it's you, all coming back to me now. You, I mean, you had yeah. the Yavin battle done on the Atari one, which it was a good idea, but still, it just wasn't what Yavin was, right? And I'm sorry, it didn't happen. You, yeah. You, you had all those towers, and you had a bunch of block-looking things, but you did not feel like you were in the Death Star Yavin battle. You didn't feel that. Mm-hmm. Then you had the first Battlefront try and recreate it, and that was just a disaster. That that. That felt nothing like the trench one whatsoever. Nothing. Not a. Mm-hmm. So, I, let, let me just set this up from the beginning. I, I remember I, I was so excited about Rogue Squadron coming out on Nintendo GameCube. It was the first Nintendo title that didn't have our buddy Mario at the front. It didn't happen. This was the first Nintendo console that had a third-party game to launch it. Which was ah, Rogue that's Squadron. That's right. That's right. There was. A, was they the, didn't have a whole lot of no, launch games there, at the time. No, 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 no there no, was. No. That's one of the, that's one of the things that killed it. No, but Rogue Squadron was the whole reason I camped out for this thing. You know what? Can you bring up the intro of the Yavin battle on, on GameCube Rogue Squadron? Yeah, yeah, sure, bring, man. Bring that bring that up. People need to see this. Okay. So for and you know for maybe for those that haven't seen it, and for those that need to remember it, mm-hmm. but you you pop that little disc into the GameCube. The first thing it does is it takes you to the Yavin Temple and you pick your craft. And then you get aboard an X-Wing and the X-Wing is positioning itself to take off and it takes off. You're immediately feeling like you're in the movie. It felt like you were in the movie. And then after it takes off, the first thing you see is the opening crawl from Episode 4 and then all the X-Wings and the Y-Wings coming out from, from Yavin heading towards the Death Star, you f- <laughs> this thing just immersed you like you were in the Yavin battle. All, all the wings are checking in. It's just, oh, man. And then after that little cutscene goes by, it puts you in the trench. And when you go in the trench, you are in the trench. Is this, is this, oh, here we go. Is it, is it Rogue Leader? No, not Rogue Leader. Well, uh-huh. it might be. Hold on, let me take a look here. Is this it? Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Let this run for a bit. Sure, sure. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Ah, yes, I remember this. Red 10 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 11 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Lock S falls in attack position. The audio's really good. Hey. I nearly like, left up out of my. I mean, I nearly threw my controller through the TV at this, man. <laughs> that awkward GameCube controller. Watch yourself. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of fire coming from the right side of that deflection oh, wait. tower. Hmm. I copy, Red Leader. Oh, uh, you know what? To those look, look at the texture on the Death Star while they do the deflector challenge. Look at that. I'm going after the towers. Cover oh me. yeah. You got the you got the Yavin moon in the background. Look at look at the texturing for a console like that's not a PS4 and not an Xbox or an Xbox One. The Xbox I mean, had a, I mean the, the the GameCube had a, had a lot of great graphical capabilities. It's it's completely underrated. So, so go ahead and fast forward it a little bit. Sure, to the sure, point sure. Where they go into the trench. It's when they go into the trench that is really sets it apart. Okay. There's a little cutscene before they go into the trench, and Get ready for your oh, look run. at the targetings! Oh my gosh. Okay, here it comes. Look at this. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh. right. That does look great, man. Oh my god. <clears throat> Wedge. Let's close it up. Ah. We'll Look at that. Far enough to cover you. Look at this. Oh, they give it a little bit of a challenge, too. Yeah. This, was, mean, this, this was great stuff for me. I'm sorry. This was just... <laughs> oh, that is great. Look at that. The musical score going on in the background. I mean, it's 
Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's authentic. It really is authentic. Yeah. You're like this thing as yeah. it's going on. And yeah. I tell you, they, they, they interjected some other levels because, I mean, you have to come up with a game that takes a significant amount of time to complete. Mm -hmm. But it's all in there. Hoth is in there. Cloud City's in there. The second Death Star battle is off the chain. Oh, is it really? Oh, well, it... You are you are going at the Star Destroyers. Oh man! You actually go into the belly of the Death Star Two. It's all rendered perfectly, like what you're seeing here. You know, and I wonder. I, I wonder if that's on. Um, I don't know if they have that on emulator for uh, for Nintendo Switch yet. Um, any of those GameCube games? Well, no, I don't think so because I was I, get, I, I was looking around to see if I could find the Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. Oh uh, right, yeah. yeah I, I don't know if you played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, but I was super into them. Super into the Metal Gear Solid games, I, and um, I I played the Twin Snakes when I had a GameCube, and that game was fantastic because it took the elements right of the Metal Gear Solid Two: Sons of Liberty, and it incorporated that into this remake uh, that was done by Silicon Knights. Wow, just wow! And um, I mean, if they start doing like you know on the Nintendo Shop and they emulate all these things on the Switch. Man, I mean, it's for, for, for guys like us, we're going to be all over games like Rogue Squadron I, and, um, you know, Metal Gear Solid and things like that. I'll tell you what I did. I, I, hacked, I hacked my Wii and I put it on my Wii. Mm. So I've got that sucker in high definition glory. Oh, it's, beautiful. It's amazing. I don't have it's a amazing. Wii anymore. I don't, have, I don't have a Wii. I just got my little, got little, I just got my little Switch now. So. Yeah, once, but, once, once something new comes out, I, I trade in the old ones, you know. But that that is my vote. That, I mean, just just because of how much love they gave to the fans in that game, that's always going to win for me. It's always going to win for me. Awesome. So now, now we got to come into you. All right, dude. I, I, I hope you remember this game. I really do. This looks familiar. Masters... Of Terrace Kasi. Terrace Kasi. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ter Terrace Kasi, Terrace Kasi, whatever it is. All right. This game was awesome. This was a fighting game for the PlayStation, right? Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah, it was a fighting game. And it was so awesome because it had kind of like a like a Tekken feel to it. Right. right. Yes. That's and what it, I, yeah. Yeah, and it made these like these battles be like like very legendary and awesome because you had Vader, you could play a Tusken Raider, you could play um, Luke Skywalker, uh, Leia, Han Solo. You could play them all. Yeah. All. They were all there. It was like the ultimate Street Fighter game with Tekken elements. Absolutely awesome to watch. Uh, awesome, awesome to play. And uh, I remember renting it from Blockbuster way back in the day. And um, I eventually bought it for, for my PlayStation. And I played it just all the time. But, I mean, it, it didn't have great fighting game elements, right? It didn't have a whole lot of this uh, really cool Mortal Kombat and, and Injustice, Gods Among Us type fighting elements that um, that Ed Boon and his team, you know, would put out, the Mortal Kombat team. Um, but it was Star Wars. It was a fighting game for Star well, Wars. And we had never really you, seen anything like that. You know what it, you know what it had? It had lightsabers! <laughs> <laughs> it had lightsabers. You could you could club somebody with a saber. Yes, yes, it had lightsabers, but it wouldn't like chop you in half. It would just like no, no. It's like just a bat. Somebody with yeah, it. Yeah, it's like a bat. It's just like just boom. bash them over the head. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you can't just do that. Just swipe somebody and just you know slice their well, no, off and that's no. Of it. A lightsaber will actually cut you if you do that. But mm -hmm. in this game, mm -hmm. you could club somebody with it. Mm -hmm. And it was done. It was done so well, and it was. Back then, every Star Wars game that came out started with a long time ago in a Galaxy Far, Far Away, and it had the crawl. They all, right. they all yep. did. They all did. Not so much now, um, but they did. Every single game that came out that was done by by Lucas Arts. Yep, they all had it. They all had the crawl, and this one did also. And it, it added a new element to to Star Wars for me, right? Because this came out before the. Um, this came out this, before the the, the, the before prequels. PS2. This yeah, yeah yeah this came out before the prequels. This was in 1997. See, and you didn't have anybody else in there. You didn't have like you know 
Anakin Skywalker versus Darth Vader, but imagine if you right, had no, a, you don't have OT characters here. That's all right, you can. Right, right. Yeah. But think about if you if this game was made today, 2020. This thing was made in 1997, well over 20 plus years ago. Uh, imagine if you had a Star Wars Masters of Terrace Cassie today. Oh, wow, what you could do. <laughs> you could have just an entire oh, palette of fighters, right? With all their unique fighting styles, and why it hasn't been done yet is a travesty, EA. Oh. It's a travesty that it has not been done yet. Because this would be a great game, and people would love it. Imagine if you went with the, with the engine that Mortal Kombat you know, X used, right? 10. XL. Whatever you call it. Um, imagine if it had that in there, but you incorporated Star Wars elements in it. Dude, fly off the shelves. Yeah, it would. Downloads that... upon downloads. Right. EA, if you're listening, I think he's onto something, guys. Yeah, I don't have a whole if lot anyone of out there, ideas. I don't. I seriously doubt anyone from EA is watching us. But if they are, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You may, you may be sitting on the next gold mine from the Tuscan Toast right here. And I could be wrong because I am the Elon Musk of bad ideas. So, <laughs> 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 so that's well, my that is my vote because there hasn't been anything like it since. And it was great when it came out. It was, well, here, it was amazing. Here's a little tidbit of uh, of an Easter egg for you. Okay, I like Easter. If we still have it, but okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> your the your your favorite video game happened to be mentioned in one of the Star Wars movies. Oh really? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. yeah. Which one? To be a favor. Huh. Go to go to your little. I, I love doing this YouTube interaction thing. I'm getting. I'm really getting on board with this. Okay. Go to go to your YouTube and put in Solo and Terrace Casi and see what comes up. Okay. Let's take a look. Sir clip. Oh, there's an unexpected video game reference. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. Should be a clip somewhere. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, you know what? Try. Well, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to take from somebody else's video. Oh uh, no. Okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just let's just talk about it. Let me know what's up. Fora mentions Terrace Cassie in the movie Solo. Who? Fora. Oh. Okay. That that scene where she kicks a bunch of droids butts. Yeah. In the control room. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I think okay, okay, okay. Solo or somebody asked her, where'd you learn that? And she said, Terrace Cassie. Ah, uh, you know, I, I'm going to go back and watch. I'm going to, I'm going to go back and watch it then. I'm going to yeah. watch, I'm going to watch it afterwards and then I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to check it, gets, it out. It that totally was, gets dropped, man. Oh, it totally gets that's dropped. So, that's so cool, man. Yeah. Because not a, not a whole lot of people know about that game. I mean, it came out. No, on yeah, the PS1. No. It came out on the PS One. It didn't have a whole lot of great reviews because I mean, it was, it wasn't a, the greatest fighting game, but it was a fighting game with Star Wars, and that's what I appreciated. Oh um, yeah. Uh, and I'll, I'll take a look at it later. But man, if they did that now, I, I think they could really make it really awesome. I mean, just now because we're learning all the cool things that Jedi's and and Sith can do. Um, and speaking on, on that, I, I, I want to bring this up since we're talking about fighting in the Star okay. Wars universe. You can tell. Wait, fighting? Fighting. In something called Star Wars? Yeah. How can there be fighting its ass? Get a de estrella. Get a de estrella. The fighting style that they used in the prequels, right, versus what they're using now in the sequels. Or what they have used in the sequels is, is you mean as far as lightsaber dueling or light, what are you talking about? Light, light lightsaber dueling because that's what we see. It's it's very different. It, it is, is different. Very, it is very different. So if we look at the prequels, we're looking at more of a a showmanship type of style of fighting for for the movies, right? We're seeing something that maybe Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee would use in some of their old movies because it's very it's very fluid. Right, it's a very entertaining to watch. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of difficult movement to make, and it's 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 cool and it's fun to watch because it's you know not easy to do and it takes a lot of practice, and uh, it's very different than what the original trilogy had. 
right? Which was, you know, two hands on the lightsaber and really going at it. Now, right. in the sequels now, they kind of incorporated both elements. They added some really cool things to do, but it looked more, it looked more realistic. It looked more taxing, right? Because you even saw in Rise of Skywalker, which I know you hated, but yeah, <laughs> you can see how you can see how how taxed and how tired Ray was in that battle with Kylo Ren when they were on the on the broken up Death Star on uh, on Endor, right? Oh, and I'm, in the I'm water. scared. I'm scared what's going to come up in the chat where this is going. I'm oh, scared. man. I, yeah, I'm, it's, it's, here, it's, it's, it's already coming up. Uh, we'll, we'll see, man, because, I mean, I think some people will, will, will feel the same way. That was an amazing, oh, trust me. That was an amazing lightsaber battle because Ray, oh, yeah. Ray got tired. She got, she oh, got I, guess, go. I guess, she got outperformed. Here. Right, she got Apple from it. She was. Oh she was my tired. God! I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my butt handed to me right now. Yeah, I'm man. just. I can't. I can't believe it's not lighting up yet. I can't believe it. <laughs> Continue. Continue. Yeah. It, oh it's, my it's, God! It's it's, it's it's great because you see that, dude. You get tired from moving around so much. It doesn't matter how good of shape you're in. It doesn't matter how many midi chlorians you got pumping through your veins, dude. You're gonna get tired, and she got tired. And that was awesome because you never really saw any fatigue, really, in Anakin, in Obi Wan, in Luke, in well Vader because he was you know had asthma and it was hard for him to move anyways. But you 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 saw that fatigue, you saw that that real struggle to to get up and to continue to fight at that level and perform. It's you could tell that Kylo Ren had right had more experience than she did because she had only oh been training gosh. for a little while. Why is this she, happening to me? She what did, have I man. done to deserve this punishment? I I really hope he's not on the thing anymore right now. If he is, I'm dead. What, Ben Swolo? <laughs> what? Y'all, what? We're, all, we're talking about Ben Swolo here. I, I, I know. I know. So let me just tell you, mm -hmm. your your viewpoint is dead on – on page with the Dark Knight. Okay, I'm just gonna get it. I'm, oh, okay, I'm good, good, I'm, good. I'm, I'm not I'm, the only I'm, crazy one here. I, I'm, su I'm surprised the chat has not just lit up like a Christmas tree right now. It, it, it should have. His his opinion is that Kylo is far more powerful than Rey. Hell yeah. Far, Hell yeah. And so much so that Rey got her butt saved by Leia. Yep. If, if Leia had not intervened. Now, I do not agree. Of course I'm not going to agree. Why? How are you not going to agree with this? So, quite simply, how many Force users have defeated the Emperor? Two. Who were they? Darth Vader. And? Luke Skywalker. No. Yeah, he did. No, he did not. He did. No, he did not. Because he convinced his father. Again, he did not. So, Vader and who else? Uh, oh, Mace Windu. Nope. Yes, he did! He did not. Yeah! No, Mace Windu got thrown out of a five-story window. Yeah, because Anakin cut his hand off. Dude, if Anakin wasn't there, dude, my boy Samuel L. Jackson would have wasted the Emperor, man. But he didn't. So who's the other one with Vader to defeat the Emperor? Well, I'm still saying Mace Windu. No. No, I'm saying it. He did. He did. He had him. He had Mace Windu wasn't in the Rise of Skywalker. He had his number. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess Ray, Ray and, and Kylo Ren. No, Kylo Ren did not defeat the Emperor. I thought they did together. Oh no, it was no. Ray. Okay, it was Ray. Yes. So. So it was his granddaughter. Only only two Force users, Vader and Rey, have defeated the Emperor. Kylo is not one of them. Three. So I don't, Please I don't know you. how you say Kylo is more powerful than Rey. Now, I'd like you to take a step further. Mm -hmm. Can you please go to the All Fets Are Off page on Facebook? I don't have Facebook. Well, I don't think I, I can. I, I can't. I tried. <laughs> okay, I'll get a Facebook. Really you can't go. No, I can't. I've tried uh, it. I can't. I'll get a face. I'll get a Facebook so I can look at our own page. I'm gee, sorry. Really? I, don't, I don't. I don't like fake news. I have an all fets are off page on Facebook, and now we can't look at it. I'll. 
I'll, I'll bring you. Okay, next, next, next show. I'll, I'll, I'll make one. I'll give okay. You some... Well, to to be to be clear, mm -hmm. we did a poll on the off bets or off page on this. Oh, did we really? Yes, and oh. I am now going to check the poll. There weren't very many voters. Let's just put it that way. Nah, that's okay. We're, we're still, but I'm going to check the poll. It's like a regular U.S. To, election. To see where this finished. So, mm. uh, bringing it up now. Hold on. What was the Wait. question? What was the question on the poll? Well, who was more powerful, Ray or Kylo? That was the question. Oh, Ben Swallow, baby. Well, let's let's find out. It's my so, boy. Mm. I'd like to show it on the screen, you know. Nah, that's okay. You can yeah. talk about it. You can tell us. We'll listen. We're, we're listening. And by two votes. By two, by two votes? votes. Uh huh. By two votes. Uh huh. Ray is more powerful than Kylo by two votes. So who won the electoral vote? Don't worry about the electoral <laughs> vote. The popular Ray. vote's the only one that matters on mine. So how many? How many votes were there? How many? How eight. many? There were eight votes. Eight, eight votes. Okay. Well, actually, there were ten. But a couple of votes went to a couple other characters. Oh, you had a write-in option. Yes. What were the write-ins? I'm not going to mention it. I, I, I bet you won't. I'm not going to because you're just going to go off on it. Well then, and tell I don't me. want to hear it. Well then, tell me. <sighs> Come on, don't be a weenie. Don't be an L7 weenie. Well, one, you're not going to. I mean, one was one was Darth Revan, which that's a pretty good one. Okay. But the other one was Wicket. Wicket? The Ewok? The the, the Ewok. <laughs> yeah, man! Ewok power, baby! I told you. I told you. I told you. Oh, man. Look. He would wait. Oh, man. He, he okay, would... look. We, Dude. we got 10 minutes left. Yeah. And I, I think we're going to have to leave off the action figure because you know, there's a couple... There's a couple of things we haven't talked about that we have got to talk about. Okay, well, we we'll, we'll leave about. the action figure until next week. All right, so what, that, what do we got to yeah, talk about? What sorry, action about? figures. Yeah. So, tremendous, tremendous Mandalorian news. Mm -hmm. Rosario Darson has been reported that she has signed on for The Mandalorian 2. Yep, yep. Very so, in, a, in addition to Michael Bond, we got Rosario Darson coming to Mandalorian 2 as... Ahsoka Tano. And I, I I don't think that you could have picked a, a, a better actress to play her. Especially at this point during the timeline. Right? I, 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 think, agree. I think she's an excellent choice. Excellent she had choice. expressed interest. She had expressed interest during celebration in wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. But not everyone is happy with this. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's not happy, um, and I I think we know who who isn't very happy about it, and I'll, think, I'll I'll bring that up right now. I think it might be Ashley Eckstein. Yeah, she wrote kind of a nasty gram, but yeah. So we've we've got verbiage in there that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, some of the things that stand out to me is the truth is I'm not involved in the Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. I can't answer questions for something I haven't performed or I'm not, I'm not a part of is how she worded it. Mm -hmm. Now she points out that it's been her honor and privilege to be voicing Ahsoka for 14 years, but she reiterates that she's only one member of a tremendously talented team that it took to bring Ahsoka to us. And that the final decisions of Ahsoka are not hers to make. And she cannot comment on something <clears throat> That she truly doesn't know anything about. Wow. Wow. Yeah, a little, uh, a, 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 li a little drama there. That, you know, if if you're really if you're really happy about something, I don't think that's how you word it. I, I didn't I didn't hear any. You know, Rosaria Darson's a very talented actress, and I think she's going to bring the Ahsoka character to life in a perfect way. I didn't hear any of that. I didn't hear, while I've voiced Ahsoka for 14 years, I think Rosario Darson's a good choice to bring her to a live-action format. I didn't hear anything like that. I didn't even hear, I'm excited for Rosario Darson's opportunity to come into Star Wars. I didn't hear anything like that. No, I just no, heard... no, no, no. You, you know what? You, you, you didn't. And, you know, we, 
you know what comes to mind when, when this is brought up? What comes that to women, mind? What that comes women are jealous? Well, that women are jealous? No, I mean, sorry, Tech Utah. I mean, <laughs> sorry, Tech Utah. I mean, guys can be very jealous too, and and nah, I, nah, we don't I, ever I, get jealous. I, and I and, and I have to say that I'm uh, I I am quite jealous, uh, of, quite jealous of Robert Downey Jr. because he gets to play Iron Man. Remember uh, when I told you that I was surprised the chat didn't light up earlier? Well, now it's lighting up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and you know what? Dark Knight sixty six really really agrees um, with uh, with with the Rosario Dawson. Being oh, cast. I agree too. And, and I, I think, think she, and, I, and I think, I think it she's is. got the perfect features for it. Well, yeah, and I and I think that she, that she's that she's going to do well. I'm super interested to see this. But what what comes to mind with this whole thing that we're that we're just talking about here is, you know, Kevin Conroy has played Batman. Uh, in the animated, the animated TV series and, and, and numerous uh, DC Universe movies, uh, animated mm-hmm. movies, for such a long time, and his voice is iconic and identifies with Batman That's and, true. And, and Bruce yeah, Wayne. It, yeah. And he never played Bruce Wayne, Batman, until they did the uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover with the Arrow series on the WB, or what is it now, CW, whatever they call it now. Uh, I watched that. I don't remember Batmaning up in there. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Conroy played uh, Bruce Wayne. He played a, a future Bruce Wayne. For he I watched like, those episodes. I don't remember Bruce Wayneing up in there. I watched those. I watched he's, those. He's there. I'll send it to you, man. I'll send. Okay, it to you. you're gonna have to send it to me. Yeah, I don't remember it's, that it's 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 very brief, but he finally got to play Batman in you know in the Bruce Wayne form. But he finally got to do it, and it took a long, long time because when did Batman the animated series come out? I mean. What, we were in middle school at the time? I mean, God, this is early 90s, and he's been voicing him forever. Forever. Um, you know, and I had the I had the pleasure, right? I had the pleasure of uh, being in a, uh, a, a, a Comic-Con forum with him in it one time. And, uh, you know, uh, Dreaming for Escape and I, we were there. Oh wow! And, yeah, it was it was great. So he was there talking, and then you know how they have uh, you know kind of like a like a like a town hall type, and they were talking about uh, you know him and 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 or the the Batman Superman battle and everything like that. And somebody asked the question, you know, about uh, about that battle. I, I can't remember exactly what the question was, and you know, being who I am. I got up and I said, "Yeah, you kicked his ass!" Like that, and everybody <laughs> clapped and everything like that. It was just, it was, it was really a surreal experience. And it was fantastic. Uh, that's, uh, uh, it was, it was great. And that's kind of the beauty about being in South Florida is you get to be in this, this big area and seeing where there's a lot of comic cons and a lot of huge, you know, names and and people come down here. So um, I hope we can go back soon because now they pushed the Florida Supercon to the 4th of July, which was originally supposed to be in May here, um, which sucks because they usually do it on the 4th of July weekend, and now they're going to do it again because of all the COVID The COVID stuff. curse. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it now because, I mean, I mean, everything is just so sensitive. But um, Yep, it, it's a tense time right now. Yeah, yeah. but we'll, 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 we'll see how things go, man. Well, uh, um, I, I, you know, while I'm excited for Rosaria Dawson to get the opportunity, at the same time, I I can't blame for Ashley Eckstein to be a little slighted. I can't. She's yeah. she's been doing Ahsoka for 14 years. That's a decade and four years. Yeah. And has this relationship with Filoni, mm-hmm. and I really don't blame her for feeling a little slighted by Filoni, going a whole other way. Mm-hmm. I I you know, to a degree, Ashley Eckstein feels that she is. Ahsoka. And, you know, th- don't be surprised if she adopts the practice of one of David Prowse. Mm-hmm. Because what does David Prowse have? What has he always done when he places a signature? Just just to drive home that point. Because so many people see James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. When, whenever David Prowse places a signature, he places it, David Prowse is Darth Vader. Because he feels that he wore that suit, and he feels that he is the character, not Jones. So, don't be surprised if you see Ashley Eckstein maybe adopt that same practice. She, she, everything she signs, I wouldn't be surprised if she says, 
Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano. While she's going to acknowledge, yeah, Rosario, you can do the Mandalorian, but I'm the character. So don't be surprised if that starts. I, I could definitely see that picking up. Yeah, we can we can definitely see that picking up, and and and, but, we'll, and we'll see. But you know, she's never going to stop being Ahsoka. Um, you know, no, she, I, she, you know, I she, think she'll always be Ahsoka in the she, anime format. Yeah, yeah, sure. she really will. Similar to how Kevin Conroy is with Batman, he will never exactly. stop being Batman. Yeah. He never will. To to me, he he is the quintessential Batman because of the voice, right? But now we have seen numerous people play him. We've seen you know Adam West, Michael Keaton. Uh, um, who else? Uh, uh, um, my God, who else? Am, why am I having such a brain fart? Oh, come on. Uh, George, George Clooney's played yeah, him. George, oh, God, George Clooney played him. Oh, my God. Val Kilmer Val played Kilmer's him. Val Kilmer played him. Oh. Yeah, and then you had uh, Ben Affleck play him, which I think was a great choice. A lot of people were really skeptical, and I think, hey, I think, I think Ben Affleck is the perfect choice for this Batman that they're trying to portray. That they did during the Justice League thing, I don't think he'll well, play him again. But um, I think it was now, a great choice. Now we've got Twilight in there as Batman, but I mean, hey, that's yeah. You know, and you know what, dude, I, I can't speak I, for that decision. I, I, no, I Mr. Do, Patterson. I, yeah, I I do think that's a great choice because oh. they're going back to Batman Year One, and if you've read the comic or if you've even seen the animated movie of Batman Year One, you can see how young, right? How how inexperienced he was because he is more of a you know, Christian Bale looking as I'm talking this as far as like body and, and, and build type, um, than the other Batmans are. So this is a great choice for a Batman year one. I really think so. I mean, if they're, if they're well, going that route, I think it's a great choice. By the way, the Batman was delayed. Just thought I'd like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Every, 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 everything, everything is delayed. <laughs> everything's delayed. Everything's delayed. But- you know, we, we, we're in the home stretch here. I, I got to get in these last two because this ties into Rosario Darson getting roles in The Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah so yeah. not only did The Mandalorian get some extra cast members, but the also delayed Obi-Wan Kenobi series is supposed to be coming to Disney Plus. They've got some casting news that has also dropped. So this is going to be huge. Mm-hmm. So they, they've confirmed that in the Kenobi series, I believe it was hashtag.com that came out with the the story but we're going to be seeing alan einreich as solo in obi-wan kenobi oh really we're going to be seeing glover the childish gambino come back as lando Woo! In kenobi childish gambino we're going to see darth <laughs> maul ray park in kenobi no are you serious so <laughs> basically <laughs> Basically, what we theorized that they were going to move on from Solo and do another Solo film, it looks like all that's going to cross into the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Perfect. So that they can keep those characters going. So it also, being that they, uh, also Rosario Darson as Ahsoka in Solo. Mm -hmm. Ah. I think all that's great. I think all that's great. I'm all, I'm all for it. Yeah, man, we're going the right direction. I, I, I think we're really going the right direction. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah and I, I would assume they're going to throw Quora in there with all those coming in. Yeah, I'm sure Quora's going to end up in there somewhere. So we're has to. we're definitely going to somehow see how they're going to bottle the end with that, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, man, has to, has to, man. Uh, so so this is great, man. We're, we we got about a minute left. Um, that's all there is left. Yeah, just one minute. Yeah, just one minute, man. Uh, we, we talked about a lot of great things. Let's just do a little recap here. Uh, we we didn't talk about the three and a quarter inch figures, and that's okay. They got we, left we, off. That's all right. We can do that next Let's next week. Push no it problem. again next week. It uh, got pushed two weeks for that. Yeah, <laughs> everything's to... getting pushed. Why not? Why not us? Sometimes. Uh, so we we did uh, the Clone Wars recap. We talked about the most most skilled pilot in Star Wars Legacy. Um, the best Star Wars home console video game, which was a great topic. Rosario, topic. Rosario Dawson, and then we, you know, we, we we had some other surprises that we that we talked about today. Um, I will never miss another Clone Wars episode. I promise. <laughs> so uh, that way, I can have some, I can have some input. I totally don't, don't worry too much about that. Just make sure you got enough power converters for Monday. Okay. Yeah, I definitely make sure I have power converters for Monday. 
uh, Florida Power and Light, they were out here doing God's work, uh, fixing it, fixing it up for the residents of Doral City Place. Uh, okay. So we are finally, uh, we were up and running late uh, Monday night, but they uh, they did everything that they could. Uh, I was actually having a nice conversation with them out there that night because there was nothing better for me to do. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, thanks to Florida Power and Light for hooking us up and taking care of us out here. Um, now we we have a long week, right? Uh, rest of the week it is Wednesday. Um, we're gonna be back here on Monday, right? Assuming, yep, we, have on no Monday. Power, assuming we have no power outages. <laughs> yes, um, please. We want everybody to stay safe out there, and we appreciate. Stay it. home and stay everybody, home. Everybody, please stay home unless you're essential. Yeah, which let's stop this thing so that we can get which, back to doing what we do. Which which <laughs> you and which you and I are. We are essential, um, and not like this GameStop essential. We're really essential. no no no. We mean, <laughs> we mean essential essential. <laughs> we're we're. we're, we're we're really... If you guys are not providing a food service or essential service, guys, stay home. No birthday parties, no barbecues, no stop all this stuff. Let's get this curve flattened and let's get back to normal. Stay home. Yep, <laughs> stay home. So, um, Brian, it's always good hanging out with you. I miss you, man. I uh, hope to get to San Antonio soon. Uh, after all this is done, visit you, my mom, my sister. Um, and of course your, uh, your lovely wife. Um, Thank but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk throughout the week. We'll talk about what we're going to talk about on Monday. Uh, we'll see how the chicky nuggy challenge and everything is going to go for on yeah, the 31st. We'll make, we'll make an announcement on that Monday. Yeah, we'll make an announcement. We're going to have to probably make, uh, make some amendments, but I think we can probably still get something. Oh, we're going to pull it off. It's just going to be a little different, but we'll yeah, pull it off. It'll be a little bit different, but we'll give everybody a little something to watch while they're, while they're stuck at home. Um, so Brian, hey, yep, nope, way out of here. Yeah, we're gonna numb up, yep, number way out of here. Brian, hey man, thanks a lot, man. Uh, Thank you. We'll uh, we'll we'll chat later. And thanks everyone that was here for listening. Thank all of you. Yeah, everybody for for chiming in and check us out on our Twitter, and then you'll see it on uh, only the toast YouTube page. Uh, this will be up there later on tonight. All right, man, Brian, have a good yep, day. Yep, nope. Yep, nope.